Right, so once you've actually got a server back up, if you need to recover it at any time, either the operating system or one of your shared folders, it's very simple. All you've got to do is click on server, click on restore files or folders for the server, and that's going to retrieve the backup information. As usual, you get a nice little wizard, and it's asking you for the location of the backup you want to use. So I'm going to click at a different location, which doesn't actually mean outside your house, it just means not physically on the server. It's then asking me for the what the backup disk is called, so in my case as we know it's server backups and where I want to restore it to, so that's server. So I click next, and now it's asking if I want to restore from the most recent backup or if I want to restore from a backup that I select. So let's actually choose a one that I select so it would actually give you a list of all your available backup dates and you could click it on and then your backup times. So in my case I've only done one backup and only one time will appear. So let's click next and again it's asking me if I want to either restore individual files or folders or if I want to restore an entire drive. So for example if I was having problems with the C drive I could choose to restore the entire C drive or I could choose just individual folders. So for the sake of this test let's go for files and folders. And now we can work through and see what's there. So for example I could choose that particular file that's the one I wanted to recover say. I click next it asks me if I want to put it back in the original location or if I wanted to choose another location. So I'm going to go for the original location and again it's saying when the wizard finds items in the backup that already exist in the restore location I can either create a copy or I can replace the original. Um, in this case I'm going to do a copy and then again it's confirming everything and as long as you're happy click restore. And obviously the amount of time it will take to do the restore will depend on the amount of data you're actually recovering. And there you go, mine has now finished, it's restored that one file and I can either click to open the restore location or I can just click close and be done with it. And that's it for recovery.